Hey Busy Bees, it's Zung and we're back for another Sunday Recipes for Busy Bees. Take five minutes to make these three no-bake cheesecakes that are super quick and easy and put a festive spin on it so it'll satisfy anybody's sweet tooth. We're gonna be making an Oreo peppermint cheesecake, then a gingerbread man cheesecake, and end with a matcha nog cheesecake. Yes, matcha and eggnog. I smashed them together because why not? If you guys love no-bake recipes, especially no-bake cheesecake, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Recipes for Busy Bees ever because I will totally miss you if you do. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our Oreo peppermint cheesecake. So here I have one cup of already crushed Oreos. I just processed them in my mini food processor to have these fine little crumbs. I'll dump it into a bowl, add two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, and just mix, mix, mix. So our Oreo crumb layer is done, so I'm gonna set it aside, and then we're gonna work on our peppermint cheesecake. So first, I'll start with one block of cream cheese, eight ounces that I've set out at room temperature. I'll add it to my bowl along with one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Then with my mixer, I'll just mix, mix, mix again. So at that point, I was just trying to break up the cream cheese and make it easy to work with. But now we're gonna add our flavorings. Here I have one teaspoon of peppermint extract to give it that pepperminty flavor, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract to give it some sweetness, and finally, half a cup of powdered sugar. I'll give it another mix until it's nice, blended, and smooth. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna scrape down the bowl just to make sure everything at the bottom has been evenly mixed, and then I'm gonna transfer it into a piping bag for easy filling. I'll fold up my piping bag, snip off the tip, and then we're ready to assemble our Oreo peppermint cheesecake. Yum. So here I have two wide mouth mason jars that are eight ounces. They're the perfect size for single serve or for parties. So now I'm gonna take my crushed Oreos and fill the bottom. I'll take one to two tablespoons per mason jar. Great, now I have my tamp. I'll just go in and smash the Oreos down. Now that we have a nice and flat layer of Oreos, I'm gonna go in with my cheesecake filling and just pipe it in three quarters of the way full. So at this point, you can either flatten the cheesecake out or leave it kind of fluffy like this. I kind of like it looking rustic and free flowing like this, so I'm gonna leave it as is. So here I have a little bit of whipped cream that I'm gonna to top it off with. And finally, just to make sure everybody knows that it's peppermint cheesecake, I'm gonna garnish it with some crushed candy canes. It's gonna add a little sparkle to it that's so pretty. And there you have it, our Oreo peppermint cheesecake. It's so pretty. If you guys wanted to, you can make it a little more colorful by adding a little bit of red food coloring to the cheesecake filling to make it a little more festive. I actually like it white because I feel like the decor will kind of amplify the cheesecake and make it really pretty, so I left it kind of plain. But it's totally up to you. Let's give it a try. I love a good Oreo crust on any cheesecake, but this peppermint cheesecake filling, it's kind of tangy from the Greek yogurt, but it also has that hint of peppermint that's kind of also tingly on my tongue. I love it, and then the crunch from the candy cane. You guys have to try this recipe. This one's good, but I have two more. The next one is our gingerbread man cheesecake. So for this cheesecake, it's pretty much the same process except we're using a few different ingredients. For the bottom crust layer, I have ginger snap cookies that I've already crushed. And then I'll mix it with two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. I love that there's still a little bit of ginger crystals in there. It's gonna add so much flavor. All right, now we'll set this aside and work on our filling. To make the filling, it's pretty much the same steps. I'm adding my cream cheese to the bowl along with some Greek yogurt and cream. And we'll just mix it up. 
And now to add our flavorings, I have two teaspoons of ground ginger, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of clove. Then I'll add one teaspoon of vanilla extract for a hint of sweetness, and half a cup of powdered sugar. Now I'll just mix everything again until it's blended and smooth. Same thing, just scrape down the bowl and put it in a piping bag. Snip off the tip, and this one's ready to assemble too. Now I'll go in with my crust layer. Add some ginger snap cookies at the bottom, crushed. Tamp it, and then we'll go in with the filling. Now I'll top it with a cloud of whipped cream. And to make it really cute, I'm gonna add some gingerbread men in there. I made these mini ones earlier. If you guys want the recipe to these gingerbread cookies, I have a video for that too that I'll link in the end. And then we're gonna let him lie in a cloud of whipped cream and sprinkles. Buddy the elf would be so jealous of this guy. Ah, the life. All right, now let's give it a try. I get all of the warm gingerbread spices in this cheesecake right here, and I love that the crust has that gingery taste as well. This one is a must for anybody that loves gingerbread. All right guys, finally I have my matcha nog, something you would never think about putting together, but it totally works. All right, last one. We're gonna start with a graham cracker crust, same drill, some melted and salted butter, and we'll mix it up. This looks good. Now I'll set this aside and work on our filling. Into my bowl, I'll add the cream cheese, Greek yogurt, and heavy cream. Mix it up. Then I'll go in with two teaspoons of matcha powder, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. I'll mix it up a little bit. And then at this point, I'm gonna make it a little bit interesting. I'm adding one tablespoon of rum. You could add vanilla extract if you don't want it to be alcoholic, but this just gives it that noggy flavor. And then half a cup of powdered sugar. I'll give everything a final mix and you know how the rest goes. Let's assemble. Add my graham cracker crumbs, tamp it down, and we'll fill her up. Get our whipped cream. And just so people know that there's more than just matcha or this green thing in there, I'm gonna garnish it with a sprinkle of cinnamon to add some interest. And voila, this has the perfect proportion of crust to cheesecake to whipped cream. Oh, let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. Matcha seriously goes with everything. I have the earthy tones of the matcha and then the rum in there really spikes it up with the noggy flavor. Oh, this is my favorite. All right, so to recap, today we made an Oreo peppermint cheesecake, a gingerbread man cheesecake, and a matcha nog cheesecake. Tell me in the comments section which one looks the most intriguing and which one you're gonna run out to make now. <laughs> if you guys are interested in more no-bake desserts, I have a video that I will also link to at the end to give you more holiday inspirations. Thank you so much again for watching you guys and be sure to subscribe below to see more recipes for Busy Bees every Sunday. I'll see you guys next time, bye! Last week on Recipes for Busy Bees, we made 